Welcome back, everybody, as we uh, continue our broadcast here from the Meerkat in Carnarvon. And I can tell you, it was such a beautiful sight a bit earlier. All of the antennae were facing us, so they all turned around. They're constantly moving and picking up different signals or whatever it is that they do. We're still trying to learn as we go along. If you're a scientist, I know you're giggling at me right now, but uh, I think the, the technology that goes into this is quite incredible. But they were all facing us at one stage. They're now all away from us, but... It it is, it is an amazing sight and it's something that I think everybody is very proud to be a part of right now. Um, I've got the Premier standing with me, Sylvia Lucas of the Northern Cape, and she was actually reminiscing when at one stage there were... Premier, good to see you. Welcome. How many were we saying? There were two at one stage. Now we've got 64. Yeah, I remember it was a Cat 7. Yeah. So there were seven and then they were dismantling it. And when we came here to launch the 64, there was only two. And in three years' time, we are standing here looking at 64 out of the blue in the bush and it's wonderful yeah, it really is i mean it's it's phenomenal that this is here in the northern cape as well because it's it's putting i mean what i've gathered from speaking to a lot of the scientists there, there are there are so many people wanting to come here wanting to be a part of this major event which is which is a great thing for the province so it is indeed a very great thing for, for the province and like you're saying so many people want to come here want to see it we have seen it in the growth in the tourism sector that there is indeed a, a lot of interest in what is happening here and for us as a province we are extremely uh, uh, a privilege to be part of those fortunately the then Minister of, of Science and Technology when it was only South Africa and Australia and New Zealand as the two finalists, she took us with to Canada. So you begin to identify with this and you begin to feel that you were part of the birth of something so majestic. Yeah. And here we are today and we can see if, if you look at the telescopes, you become so proud to be part of history in the making because there is something that looks, that should look very minute in the eyes of anyone else but for those that are benefiting from this uh, information from this knowledge and also for the fact that there is a difference in the total landscape of the northern cape it is something that we can be extremely proud of you know it's something quite incredible because you know the northern cape is a vast province and it's a vast province of 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 nothingness and, and I'm going somewhere with this and that's what I think attracted this as a destination because there is very little interference around this area and that's what I think stood this in good stead to receive something like this so you know for an area that I suppose is is so vast and with opportunities that are difficult this came knocking on its doorstep and I, I'm, I'm hoping is doing a lot for the people of the province as well. The people of Carnarvon will say they don't see what SKA means for them. Yeah. But I must say, if at all we manage it correctly and we also manage the expectations of our people, they will be able to realize what benefits are coming from this. Because remember the last time that we were here, we saw this uh, children that are being trained to become artisans yeah. as part of the program of the SKA. But we also spoke to the students that are going to graduate this year in the other undergraduate studies. For, uh, that is a spin-off of this project. But also in our schools now, the children of Carnarvon have got access in particular to maths and science and to computer science, which is something that used to be a problem or a challenge for us in this area. Even some of the schools started to, 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 to give uh, maths literacy in, this, in the place of maths, but this is assisting to bring back pure maths and to make sure that we are able to develop scientists from this area, like you say, from this nothingness, something great is becoming because of this. You see, sometimes uh, in the development of this kind of project, during the construction phase, you will find that many people will be able to be employed within the project. But after that, a few people is needed, possibly for clean up and for maintenance and things like that. But what is happening is the children from Carnarvon is now getting the opportunity to be trained to do that maintenance. Some of the artisans that we met, uh, one girl made a uh, a, a contraption, let me call it a contraption, if, uh, bec uh, in becoming an electrician, something that I always wondered when I was sleeping in a hotel, how is this thing working? Yeah. And here this girl stand in front of me and she showed us how it is working, the fact that you put the light on at the door and you can put it off here, just <laughs> next to you, something <laughs> that 
always something that I thought about how is this happening and this child could do show us how she did it how it is being done and so on so it is it it, it seemed very small and minute to people outside but the 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 fact of the matter is that that is opportunities that were not there before that our children is getting now and it's coming through the spinners of this particular project yeah. Yeah. I think that's fantastic. I really do. Listen, I think you need to put me in touch with her because whenever I go into a hotel and they've got those switches, the one switches, this light on, that one goes off, this one goes off. I don't know what's going on. I need to have a lesson from her. But today, a big day. We've got the deputy president that is coming to officially uh, launch this and lots of other dignitaries from around the world also coming here to the Northern Cape. What can we expect today? It's, it's always the case that when this is happening there are so many interests and from so many quarters of the world but for today we are just showcasing the fact that we could in a short space of time deliver this as a government as South Africa we were able to deliver this even when we went for the for the presentation of the finalist we were so far ahead of developed countries like Australia. I'm mentioning it because it is a fact, because already uh, Cat7 was standing here. So we could show that we've got the capability, we've got the capacity, we are able to bring about this. And that is why I'm saying it, it makes you feel very excited, but it also makes you feel very nostalgic and, 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 and you are under the impression of the greatness of what is happening here in front of you. And that is why I'm saying today, what people will be seeing is that there is not only negative, but there is a lot of positive that can come out of the fact one of your colleagues said that there is no people here. But for the lack of people, we've got the space to bring about technology and science that is just mind-blowing. And that is why we are excited for what is happening today. Premier, thank you very much for being with us here on the program. And uh, uh, of course, as you hear, there's so much significance put to this occasion. And it's good that we're here to witness it. We're going to take a break. When we return, we're going to actually take one of our cameras and go inside this antenna and actually show you what it is that they do. Uh, I'm sure you've been seeing it from the outside, but let's take you in. So don't go anywhere. Stay tuned.